important? Can we talk? Wow. Jane, you're 18 years old now. And I don't want you to treat you like a 10 year old. You're old enough to be self-disciplined and be responsible in everything, especially in your studies. You failed your last exam. How come you have done this? You have all the time to study here. If you will not stand, study hard, you know. You will pass your final exam. What's worse, you can go to the university. I'm, I'm tired already of advising you. You better wake up, you know. I passed my last exam, didn't I? I know how to sell this stuff, clean, huh? I don't know how to sell this stuff, clean, and I know what's good and what's bad for me. No, you still don't know what is good and what is bad for you. It's not only your studies. You also smoke, and you mix yourself with other friends. They are bad companies, and that takes you away from your studies. I don't like that. Don't lie, don't lie. Like that's our business. I'm old enough to smoke, and know who to mix with. See, that's what you get from your friends. You're getting rude and incorrigible. You better get out. Get out from this house. Good job, Tiger. Hey, Miss. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to you as long as you cooperate with us. We apologize for the fear and the inconvenience caused. We only want your father's money. As he is super rich. You see, we have been poor for so long. We also want to enjoy life like yours. We also want to have a bungalow, a Mercedes Benz, and travel around the world. We also want to have a family like yours. No, you are mistaken. My father is not super rich. In fact, he's not even rich. He's just a farmer. That's what you people will always say. Lying. Lying to try to get away your money from us. Anyway, we have done our job and found out your father is the super rich property tycoon, John Lee. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. <laughs> My father is really a bummer. Hey, I told you, if you cooperate with us, nothing will happen to you. Hmm. You have a handphone, huh? Now, call your father. And tell him to give us two million dollars by six p.m. If not, I'm afraid something will happen to you.
Come in, please. Money. You are Wendy, right? Yes. Sit down, Wendy. Wendy, do you have any experience working as a waitress? Uh, yes. Five years. Really? Where? Your customers must be very patient. Unconscious, they are fighting to save his life. The doctor says his chances are bleak. Messy for her attack. Oh no, he's our father. He can't do it. It's all right, Nancy. And we need him. The doctor are doing their best. There's still a chance that he may pull through. Let's let's, let's pray. pray. 